Okay, this is what I've, what I've seen of this channel, pretty toxic to men. Healthy gamer GG. He, his channel works on the insecurity of, of guys who game. Now he's dressing misogyny. Anyone, now, unless he says misogyny is bunk, he is actually a toxic channel. So let's hear it. So yesterday, there was a post on our subreddit about how there's a misogyny problem in our community. And so I really appreciate the, the post. It was- um, I don't appreciate the post. For him to say that means he's anti-male from the start. Misogyny doesn't even exist. And he's gonna prove it by the way he talks. The most upvoted post for you know a while. Uh, exactly. It's an upvoted post, right? So <laughs> he's going to even mention, this is weird. Uh, if it's such a problem, how come so many people are doing it, right? How come everyone backs this idea, including the men? Uh, there's some upvoted posts. Like if you look historically, the most upvoted posts are memes. The most upvoted substantial post we've ever had on our subreddit, I think, was this post. And... In it, people were sort of saying, like, misogyny is a problem in the community, and Dr. K should use his platform to address it. And then I got kind of confused, because I was like, I don't know what that means. Yes, you do. It means talk about it. So I think this guy is afraid to talk about it. I don't know. People, I hear this a lot. Like, people toss around this phrase, use your platform to address the problem. And literally, like, I don't know what that means. Like, I don't know how to do that. Do I, You're doing it now. I just show up here and say misogyny is bad. Y'all should stop doing it. Is that what people are looking for? So I asked the question, and thankfully, I got some awesome answers. So I was like, I think they figured out what my username is. So I think they knew it was me. Um, but, I, you know, I don't identify myself. But I was just like, what would that practically look like? Like, what, what would that mean? using the, like, I don't know how to do that. And so I got some really awesome answers and I really appreciate everyone who posted. I read the entire- Are you gonna say what those answers are? If you're not, then that is red flag. I thread in basically every comment. Uh, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is share a little bit about, you know, what we do and how we approach misogyny. And then I'm gonna change gears a little bit. So the first thing is that, you know, we try to address misogyny um, through things like we have like, you know, women in gaming streams and stuff like that. Um, we interview a lot of female streamers who will talk about their experiences, for example, or just women in our community who talk about their experiences. If any of you guys watch my channel at all, uh, there's a stream where a, a gay man who was involved in Dungeons and Dragons talked to women who, who involved themselves in Dungeons and Dragons and there was no misogyny. There was none. It was just, uh, I came in, I'm, I'm shy, and everyone didn't just, all the guys didn't just shut up and listen to whatever I had to say. So they address these women, is there any, going to be anything in particular? Uh, so that's one way that we address it. Um, so I, you know, I, I thought we were doing okay there. Um, the other thing is that I, I tend to not sometimes address it directly because I think that the real way to address misogyny is by like addressing the human being underneath and understanding where it comes from and sort of helping people. So for example, what do you mean you don't talk about directly? Aren't you doing that now? Notice everyone, this guy has not given any details about misogyny. He hasn't given any examples of misogyny. He hasn't even defined what misogyny is. I'm going to define it healthy gamer misogyny is simply men not knowing their place they're second class citizenry when it comes to the opposite sex these women show up and they expect to have supremacy in that space over the men that's what this is well shunya meditations i think are actually my way of addressing misogyny because the more that you practice shunya meditation the less misogynistic or misandristic you will become. Well, I use misandric. But misandry is a huge problem, which guys like you never address. 
Are you a psychologist? You look, you strike me as a psychologist. So I think there's a lot of stuff that I try to do. And then there was also like another part of me that was kind of confused because, you know, I was sort of thinking like, if this is a misogynistic community, like, why is this the, like one of the most upvoted posts of all time? Exactly. I told you guys he would come to this observation. Misogyny, healthy gamer, I'm using that word sarcastically, doesn't exist and never did. You would have to scour the world to find an actual misogynistic man. He'd represent like 0. 0.000, endless zero, one point percent of the population. Misandry is the norm. Right. So it's kind of interesting because I was like looking at that and I was like, oh, it's people are actually responding really well. And I was imagining if someone had posted that in the Red Pill subreddit, for example, like that would get downvoted into oblivion. Exactly. And it would. And rightfully so. And it just goes to show that these guys in this space, these gamers, they're typical guy desperate for female validation. And they're always throwing out the misogyny. But none of these guys, hey, healthy gamer, ask, make a poll and say how many guys say that they are a misogynist. Not that they've done it. How many guys say they're a misogynist? I'm going to uh, give this wild prediction that every one of them, 100%, say they are not misogynist. And then I also kind of thought about it a little bit more and I was like, but wait, it's the most upvoted post. So that means that everyone does think it's a problem. So that was like. Them thinking it a problem doesn't make it a problem. Because your first observation proves that false. Kind of confusing for me. So I tend to, first of all, address things somewhat indirectly. And the reason for that is. Um, because you know better than to, to tackle it directly because all these falsehoods would come up. What were you going to do? You would have to find someone's, you know, post and say, this is a misogynistic post. And then they would say, no, it's not. Prove it. And how could you if it wasn't? Um, I just think it's more effective. So this is where I get concerned about things like virtue signaling. So if I show up on stream and I say misogyny is bad, I think that the people who suffer from being on the receiving end will really appreciate that. And they'll be like, Dr. K is using his platform to address misogyny. But I don't know that the person who is misogynistic will actually change. So this is where I kind of struggle a little bit with like, is fixing misogyny validating the victims of it? Or is it like trying to change the minds of the perpetrators? And so that's sort of why we've done what we've done. We try to raise awareness. The perpetrators in a space where everyone upvotes misogyny is a problem. Okay, let's get past this nonsense. Uh, I'll listen to it ahead of time and get ahead because this guy says a lot of nothing. This anti-male guy says a lot of nothing. Okay, power of listening. Okay, so he's just going to tell these guys to know their place then. If you think you're doing a good job at something and someone tells you, hey, this is a problem, you should start by listening. So this is kind of weird, but like in my experience, the more that you think you know about something and the more surprised you are. Okay, now it's time for you to listen to me. Listen and believe is anti-male. It's used for women to accuse men and men just get punished whether it's true or not. So I'm against that. So if you're for listening, you're against the people that are in the, in the gaming community. You are by someone's opinion. You shouldn't double down on what you believe. You should actually listen to that person even more. So, okay, so when you see my video, let's see if you do that. If you saw that post and you thought, sort of like I did, that like, oh, look at how much this is getting upvoted, it must not be a problem. You have to understand that like the more logic you, that you have to discount their perspective, the more catastrophically incorrect you are, right? Because they're not stupid. I mean, you can assume that. I okay, so like I <laughs> predicted, 
he's telling these guys that when women complain that they know should know their place, they should believe them, and then what? Hey, and then what, healthy gamer? If they believe that some guy was misogynistic, are, they go are you going to say that you, this guy should get banned? And ostracized from the community? That's the end goal. That's the end result. So basically men enter spaces that are hostile to them and then they get banned. So your listening doesn't mean anything to me. You want these guys to enjoy their space, but any woman for any reason, any girl can say he was misogynist and then he gets banned and he's no longer part of that space. Is that healthy gaming? Every, all of the reasons why I think we're doing a good job of addressing misogyny, the fact that there is a group of people who strongly feel this way means that there's a blind spot. No, there isn't. Someone accuses a guy of misogyny. You go look at his post to see if it's actually misogynistic and you can actually make a judgment. And I'm going to show, I, I, I should say, Sean, I bet that it will be something that isn't misogynistic. And this is why this guy, everyone who's, who comes to this guy, healthy gamer, this is why he doesn't give any details. He doesn't give any examples. Now, what can be done about it? it now, let's see. This is what, what he's going to say. So I'm just going to share with y'all what I have learned about the experience of women. So understand that this has a couple of... What does that have to do with what you're going to do about it? Because this is going to be consequences for male gamers. Caveats. The first is that I'm not a woman. So I'm not ever going to truly understand what it's like to be a woman. Well, you're pathetic then, because I understand women perfectly. I know what their motivations are, and I know how they behave. They're not aliens. They're our fellow human beings. And the thing is, the reason why you don't understand is because you don't want to understand, and you don't want to admit you understand. Thankfully, I've had a lot of experiences. So I have a profession in which it is my job to try to understand people's experiences that are different from what I've, what my own. Okay, then you are a psychologist. Is that it? Is that what you're saying? Okay, psychology, if that's the case, is anti-male. And every time I see a psychologist, they're always throwing other men on the bus for women. And so I'm going to share that with you just so that I hope that men out there will like hopefully understand like a little bit of what I've learned. It's not my place to say that this is right or wrong. It's not my place to say that, you know, that's, I can't judge that. I'm just going to share what I've learned. Then you're saying nothing. You're saying a whole lot of nothing. You're, you are too cowardly to make a stance. Now I'm putting to you, as you go on, I'll see what goes on. I didn't watch this already, guys. So if you're for banning guys who women find misogynistic, you're anti-male. Will you be brave enough to say that? So basically, before you're born, presuming you're not like a test tube baby or something like that. What the hell? Your dad has testes. And in these testes, the they produce sperm. Sorry, here, and let me get ahead of this. Okay, that seg segment, I called it. You guys can listen to it. Go find his channel. There was he gave no answer to what could be done about it, but he did. If you listen to it, give apologist to male circumcision. Totally anti-male as usual. Okay, what's the next segment? Being born a woman is in this life on hard mode. Oh my God, no, no, I'm not even going to listen to that. Women have easy mode. You anti-male female suck up. <laughs> women do not get banned when they get to arguments in gaming circles. The men do. I'm not even going to listen to this. Okay, what do we got here? My husband is a moderator. Well, 
then there's not going to be any biased against the guys in that case. Now, is there? <laughs> now, is there? So my husband is the moderator for a few different subreddits, and he genuinely thinks it's his job. My hu husband refuses to look for a job, even though I think it would be good for him, and we could use the additional income, but he says he's got too much on his plate already. That being monitoring, monitoring these stupid subreddits. Every time I bring it up, he claims what he's doing is unpaid labor, labor similar to that of a homemaker, but he doesn't cook or clean or do any of that the way he used to. He just monitors his stupid subreddits. I don't know what to do. Sometimes I want to leave him because I believe I may not be able to. Housework isn't unpaid labor. For you to bring this up, if this guy doesn't say that, he is anti-male. And men should not be going to this guy for any health advice. Women, men work outside to have that woman hanging around the house doing a few chump chores. So what it is, this guy is doing what she's doing and she's pissed because she selected him to labor for her. That's what's going on here. And he's just like her. And she's saying, you're not my equal. You're there to work and I'm there to screw around at home reach him. So this is where a lot of people will react. Right? And so what reactions are people going to have? They're going to be like, that's a bad characterization of a man, that not all men are like this. That wouldn't matter if all men were like this. That guy is not doing any different than her. If she is she a stay at home wife, okay, then she's not working for a living. So it wouldn't matter if he was like that. Is this your idea of misogyny? Women do this too. I'm married or I, my girlfriend sits around and doesn't do anything all day as well. So I want you guys to notice, if your mind had that reaction, I want you to notice what just happened. Someone shared with you an experience and the first thing that your mind did is reject it and provide logic. This is the problem, right? So if you guys want to understand why misogyny exists, this is the problem. It is because when someone speaks, your default mode is to reject them. This is the reasons you're wrong. This uh, you're full of shit. If I, I'm going to reject that because I don't care. That woman, women live off leech off men on a regular basis throughout all the world, throughout all history. I have a complete right to reject that. You can call me misogyny a misogynist, and I'm just going to say, well, too bad, because obviously misogynist, if that is the definition, which you never gave, by the way, but finally he's coming to it. He's actually coming to an example. And of course, this is not misogynistic in any way. Rejecting this woman's post is not misogynistic. Who are you to say otherwise? This paints a bad light to men. And all of those things are logical. I'm not saying that it, it, paints men as deadbeats. It does that. The question is, is it fucking true? Are these the experiences that this group of people has experienced? Like, is this what they live through? Is it a solo experience or a shared experience? Why so if some guy types in, I don't care about this, what do you want done? What do you want done? It's not for him. It's not for the average guy to show any respect for that post. No one has to back this woman up and support her, no matter what she says. So your idea of misogyny is that this, the, the men in the group don't support women, no matter what they say. I'm sorry. That's not misogyny. And even if, if it was, if people considered misogyny, that just makes misogyny good, or at least <laughs> unimportant. Why do y'all think that had 78,000 upvotes? Because men do anything to get validation from the opposite sex. So I got 78,000 upvotes. Any of those guys misogynists themselves? It's because that's a shared experience. So I'm not saying that any of the criticism. Okay, this is bullshit. And on to the next. What being a woman is like, I won't even look at this. I won't even look at this. Let's see, how do you part without overdoing your part? Okay, I'll listen ahead and see if there's a, this guy is, all he said in this video 
is that guys know your place. Uh, listen, have women come in and support them 100% and, and know your place. And if you don't, you're a misogynist. But the one thing he hasn't said is what's going to be done about these misogynists. A healthy gamer. You've never had the spine in this video yet to say what consequences you want for misogynist. It, I don't see anything in this video about that. I'll check out this last part. Okay, here he is. He's going to be totally, totally telling men to just bend over to the opposite sex. A woman, like, and someone is mean to them, just like, just tell your mom to go fuck off. Right? And then that person is going to get mad at you too. They're going to call you a simp. They're like, oh, simp. It's like, no, bro. Like, I'm not a simp. Like, you can call me a simp if you want to. It's just called being a decent human being. No, no, no. You're a woman worshiper. That's what you are. And you're male hostile. That's what you are. Men getting in arguments with women and you automatically taking the woman's side. That's pathetic. That's what you are. You think that's being a simp? Okay, fine. Whatever. And here's the next thing. If you are like nice to a woman online, don't friend them afterward. Just Yeah, know your place, guys. Don't friend them. Don't try and get intimate with, with the opposite sex. Who are you, a low-status nobody gamer, to, to friend women and want to get to know them on a personal level? Or possibly think possibly you might date them later on or have a friendly interaction online. Who are you? Now, this is the healthy gamer, right? This is the guy who's there to help your self-esteem. And nothing says self-esteem like knowing your place, you're beneath women, and you shouldn't interact with them. Just go on your fucking day. Just be nice to them, stand up for them, call out shit where you see it, and then don't try to form a relationship. Wow. So healthy gamer, you're against guys online forming relationships with women or even trying to just be nice to them and be their little slave boys and back them up. If, if they get in an argument with another guy, man, you are a toxic human being and your channel is toxic. They don't owe you shit. Just that's the end of it. The best thing you can do is, but this is not about owing trying to get, Friendly with someone and intimate with someone has nothing to do with some thinking they owe you something. Don't you want to make friends and get to know women too as well? Yes, you do. Do you use these same values for yourself? No, you don't. It's just move on with your day. They're just another human being. You don't need to form anything. You don't need to say. So they're another human being, but you, they, you don't need to form relationships with them? So you're against forming relationships with other human beings. Wow. If I, like I said, I don't know if you're a psychologist, but if you are, that says a lot about psychology. Emotionally support them. You don't need to like help them feel validated. You just need to be a decent human being. But that's what you're demanding. Talking with them and then supporting them when, if they get in an argument with another guy, that is validation. You don't even know what words mean. Move on with your day. Do you guys get that? Because this is what happens. Like there's the people, the, the Dharma chads, right? Like I'm gonna make the world a better place. Let me friend this person and help them with all of the things that they need help with. I shall force them. I shall, much like the therapists who are pro post-traumatic, I'm gonna fix it. And in doing so, you just make it worse. So being a decent human being does not mean you need to form a relationship. Wow, that is incredible. You heard it first, guys. This is it. This is healthy gamer GG. Don't form relationships. Don't try to form relationships. You Relationships aren't beneath it. Hey, healthy GG, do you hold these the women in the gaming sit, uh, spaces? Do you hold them to these same standards? No, you don't. Wow, everybody avoid this channel. I'm going to be looking through his, his channel, and if I see any other of these videos, trust me, I'm stomping on them. This is disgusting. How many guys? He's got almost a million subs. Wow, men are pathetic. For, for guys who, who game online to go to this channel, 
a million strong and watch this guy tell them to know their place. I have complete contempt for that. Goodbye, everyone.